guys, this is KC here. Now I'm going to go through a quick tutorial on how to install a HD texture pack and the water shader mod. And of course this will be using 1.1 Minecraft. And as you can see I've got all the things that I need, all these links to the MC patcher and the water shader mod form will be in the video. As for the HD texture pack, well that's your own personal choice and so I'll let you get that whenever you want. Okay, so First, you're going to need to find the Minecraft folder. Now, to do this, uh, you can actually just click here in the start and type in percent app data percent enter. And it comes with all this folder and it shows the my, dot .minecraft folder. So you have that up. You, it's that simple. I've got a little shortcut of it for it here. So um, you have this. Uh, you can actually just go in the texture pack and just put your texture back in there. I've already got a Mesa one, in fact, that's the old one, so I'll delete that. And I'll just shove that in there, because I'm not... You don't have to worry about that at the moment, it's fine. So, Bin, I'm just going to make sure I've got the latest... Well, the 1.1 version of Minecraft, so I'm just going to load Minecraft up. There we go, I'm just going to go on Options, Force Update, and it'll get me a fresh copy of Minecraft, just to make sure. I'm not sure if I still have the pre-released on. So, while that's doing that, uh, I can go through this. So this is the water shader zip file. So if I open this, uh, I'm opening using 7-zip. However, you can use 7-zip or WinRAR. Both are free programs. Just download them. It's basically just a way to open zip files. So you've got this. I've got it. You've got a Minecraft folder and a shader folder. Now, the shader folder just goes in this bin folder here where the minecraft jar is. You don't put it in the minecraft.jar, you put it in the folder that the minecraft.jar is in. So I can just shove that in there because you can even just leave that in there because it won't use it at the moment anyway until it's been the .jar has been modified. So we just see if it's done. Yep, it's done 1.1. It's all ready. So what you want to do first, however, is before you do anything else, uh, uh, water shader or any of the mods, go into the MC patcher, run, uh, so it's going to hopefully find automatically the Minecraft 1.1.jar. And we come up. You can select what you want. I'm just going to do uh, HD textures and HD font. Uh, better grass has never really worked for me. Um, I don't really want random mobs or custom colors. So I have all that. Obviously Optifine is pretty much the same as what I'm going to have to do for this. And I'll explain that later. But for this, all you need is basically it's already there. Just test it to make sure. So it'll launch it, see if it works. Okay, it's all fine. So patch it, and that'll patch Minecraft with that. So now that's done. It can now run the HD texture pack. So if I run Minecraft now before going any further, it's just to show you that it can actually uh, run the HD texture pack. Okay, so on the Mesa, might be a bit a bit slow there and then it should come up uh, there we go so we got that done so let's just create a new world let's go creative brand new world in the Mesa pack it should all be fine and the yeah, results is here there we go see everything's fine the texture pack is on it's all good You've, it's that's it. So yeah, that's that sorted. Texture pack works. Now of course if you go down to the water, it is not. Uh, it hasn't got the thing on yet. I think the water's changed from the last texture pack as well, which is interesting. So the clouds, I believe they're like the uh, photorealistic ones now. Uh, so yeah, we've got that sorted. Let's just exit Minecraft. You don't have to worry about that at the moment. So let's just go to the shaders that you've got up here. And let's finish it off by right clicking on the Minecraft.jar. Not the uh, the other one here. That's the backup that the uh, MC Patcher has made for you. So just leave that. Don't touch that. So as you can see in the Minecraft.jar, you've got all this. Um, I mean that's pretty much it. Uh, the MC Patcher already removes the Meta Inf folder, which uh, if it hasn't, then I would probably go back and check to make sure everything's done right. Uh, but normally it deletes the Meta Inf folder. Um, so yeah. So let's go to the water shader folder. Let's go click on Minecraft one. And basically anything with class files in, you normally just have to drag the class files 
over into the minecraft.jar. That's what most mods are. If you ever go into a folder, it's just filled with class files, maybe a couple of folders. Literally just drag all that into the minecraft.jar, unless it says otherwise. So that that's that sorted. So I'm going to close all that now. I'm just going to load Minecraft back up again. I'm not sure how well this is going to record it, because I'm using Cam Studio for desktop recording. Other ones I would be using Fraps. But Fraps is a bit picky with uh, my desktop recording. I click it, but it doesn't seem to work. So it's loading up Minecraft, it's in the Mesa pack, so that's fine. Let's load up our world that we made, and everything should be fine and dandy. Yeah, there we go, as you can see, Water Shader Mod is implemented along with the HD Texture Pack. And so it's sorted, and you can see yourself in the reflection. So there you go, installation, sorted, and some nice looking water. Right. Hope you enjoyed it, and see you later. Bye-bye.